All right, <laughs> welcome back. It's time for us to go into our communities and get into some conversations on what's happening. Did you see the match that happened over hmm. <laughs> in the last couple of days? Oh, oh I saw it. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> I saw it. Yeah, but there's... Okay, yeah. well, well, I don't know what you make of it. You, we'll, we'll talk about it. Mm. But in case you don't know what we're talking about, Alan Tremanting, you know, he, you know, he's been in the political mix for some time, for some yes. years now. Yeah. Now, some supporters of his camp in the MPP, you know, went on a march. Mm -hmm. And we'll be speaking Reportedly to... Reportedly 200,000. Yes, mm. quite a number of mm -hmm. them. So we'll be taking a look at that report uh, from the Ashanti region. When we come back, we get into the conversation. The new patriotic party is yet to officially open nominations for its flag bearership contest, but key names of persons seeking to occupy that position have come up. Posters, banners, and billboards of some of these prospective aspirants have also sprung up, and their supporters have formed camps. The name of Trace and Industry Minister John Kwajo Alan Tramantin has come up as a prospective aspirant. His supporters joined a health work and said calls for Mr. Tramantin to resign as Trace Minister was premature. I must say at the moment the party has not opened for nominations, so I don't think it's proper for him to resign and declare his intention. I only think for now he has to concentrate on his ministerial job. When the nominations are open, then he can choose to resign and contest for the position. I think the cost is uncalled for. It's not necessary for him to resign at the moment. I think he's still working for Madagana and the MPP as well. This cause, to me, I believe, is a misplaced priority in the sense that uh, somewhere 2007, when um, current President Kofor was the Foreign Affairs Minister, he resigned a day to pick in his nomination form as a flag bearer. So I believe um, these calls are misplaced uh, priorities. And I believe that um, Honorable Alan Kodocha Martin can resign even a day to pick in of his nomination form. These supporters say they are resolute and will support the Trace Minister when nominations are officially opened. I came all the way from Ashama and the crowd that I have seen today it speaks a kind of language that Alan is the person that all the grassroots are glamoury for because he's the person that can help the party to break the eight. Unfortunately, we are hearing that some leaders of the party are kicking against the Asante project and they said they will kill it. But today, Asante has spoken, Asante will speak, and Asante will determine the breaking of eight with Alan Kojo Chamartin as our leader. For the, uh, for, for the contest in 2024. Ahead of the event, the national leadership of the party called for the cancellation of the work. But the organizers insist the directive came at the wrong time. Why we couldn't have stopped this work is that he, the, his call came at the last hour, about two days ago. As I said earlier, we are used seven months to plan for this program. I rather, we can't stop it. The pressure, when we decided to stop the pressure, that was coming from the constituencies, the police station agents, the police station executives from the various 47 constituencies in Ashanti region was very high. Even the man that we were working for called us. He told us that he has been in police over, over 40 years. He has never been hit with any scandal. He has never had any problem with anybody. He is serving his party, doing all the work to make sure and the, the president of the government of Nana Dinan Kwaku for us to succeed. Yes, he is working hard for us to break the eight. So we should stop. He doesn't want anybody to point fingers at him, but we told him that we respect him, but we are not stopping. Some known figures of the party also joined the health work and called on the party's leadership to ensure persons endorsing other prospective aspirants are called to order. We would also plead with the party no one is saying that we shouldn't follow our rules. But the rules, if it's set, then everybody within the party falls under the rule. So if you need to apply sanctions, you apply it equally. If you allow members of parliament, ministers of state, national council members, national executive members, openly declare their support for one candidate, openly campaigning for one candidate, and you ask others not to openly declare and support one candidate, you are not being fair. 
So if they want to be fair, then they want to apply sanctions. They apply equal sanctions to everybody, irrespective of your, of your status, your position, or wherever you stand. National executive want to crack whips, eh? I don't see the one who will be spared from the top to down. Everybody will not be spared. Are you getting it? Ah, we, we see them. Huh? Vice president is all, all over campaigning. President issue a directive that if you want to contest, not now, until you resign. Are you getting it? But we see vice president always campaigning. Who has, I mean, coaching him. Are you getting it? Now, we've done this. I am in support of the national executives. They now need to come out clearly and draw the red line that, look, we've seen all the camps, all the various aspirants, supporters doing this or that. So now, this is the red line. Whoever crosses it, the law is going to deal with you. Then everybody, because if you try to stop one side, people may think that you are just deliberately trying to push that person aside or something like that. Are, are you getting it? So me, I am in support of their directives, but I am saying that it was too late. The health work christened Adruso, which means it is your turn, so participants clad in branded party t-shirts that had pictures of the trace and industry minister Alan Tramantin. Hmm. All right. Well, that's the report by our colleague Hafiz Tijani. And we're going to delve into some conversations right now. And uh, the host of Footprints, I'm always excited when he joins <laughs> us on the show. This, uh, you know, this uh, segment of the show, we have conversations. Samuel Temesa has joined us here. Samuel, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How morning. are you? Very well. Very yeah. well. Good. Uh, the post homo yeah, yeah. yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know you're in the well, thick post, of things. Post for, for gamma so <laughs> you're yes. in the post thick post of things. things. Ah, no, we're, yeah. we're just covering, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. but I think this year was exciting. I, I haven't seen a turnout like this in years. Well, I think the, the whole restrictive um, nature of the COVID, yeah. um, you know, really people had a lot to <laughs> express. <laughs> and so yeah. I think sure. that... that but it is, I think it's just come to stay and it can only mm, keep get better. getting better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. I like the post, um, post quickly day when you get to. Oh, the day after. Heat. Yeah, the day after <laughs> when you get to heat up the quickly <laughs> in the frying pan and just make it crispy and so so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm on a diet, so. Um, sit, sit and get deep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm. But the people said they were going on a health walk. I wonder if that was a health walk. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I think it was, it was a health walk. Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> as in fitness walk. Yeah. So I think once you walk, it's fitness. It's fitness. Uh, so, yeah. No that, lie that was there. It. Yeah. No lie there. Mm. But what do you take of the way things turned out? Because, I mean, you, you heard Hope Senadoye speak. We heard yeah. this, this guy, what um, was his Sledge name? Buna. Sledge Buna. Yeah. speak as well. And they admitted yeah. that party executives told them not to embark on the work, not to do anything political in terms of declaring any support for Alan Tremanting or anything like that. But they felt that, one, they had come too far in their preparations for the event, and two, they were expressing themselves, and the people had something to say. What's your take mm. on that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, um, I, 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 okay, I mean, so we are only saying what we are saying based on what we heard yes. them yes. say. Yes. Yes. That um, two days to time, um, they, they got communication to um, suspend, mm. you know. But I, I don't see the point in even communicating to them two days to time to suspend because it wasn't done uh, in a discreet fashion. Yeah. It's not like they went to hide somewhere yeah. to plan. To plan. Yeah. Everybody knew that they were going to do the health work. Yeah. And the party, and I, I agree with what um, Adoye, what's his name again? Hope so. I, Adoye was saying about the party executives should they should be very distinct mm. with the do's and don'ts mm. and then urge every party member senior or junior to align themselves mm. to the rules okay mm. and i think that's a fair call mm. 
to the party leadership or the executives that look, these are the do's and don'ts um, two years or one year or a few months to our internal elections. I mean, if the, the degree of ambiguity is lessened, mm. it helps uh, for, for clean participation. Mm. But when you leave these gray areas as is, people will take advantage. And months to internal elections, anybody who says they are going for health work, I mean, you don't need an explanation. No. All they want to do is to galvanize um, their support. You know, there are people who are still in between. Should I go Alan or Baumia? You know, moment they start seeing crowd, nobody wants to be alone yeah. or feel lonely in their support. Mm -hmm. So it kind of drifts people's attention to the possibility of moving that way. So these are all part of the um, politics and in, in the electioneering um, uh, mechanics. Mm -hmm. So I, I actually don't see anything wrong with um, organizing a health work in the manner they did. Mm -hmm. um, frankly, there were no disturbances. And that's, that's, that's what we expect. Mm -hmm. There were no disturbances, uh, physical assault and all this. Yeah. In fact, um, a, a, a very, very civil, if you like. Mm. Yeah. Um, you didn't hear insults, mm. and, or I didn't hear, I don't know if you heard no, I mean, uh, insults so and all the other things um, based on what we have just seen. So I, I think that, and again, it's not going to stop. So uh, the party leadership has a hard task in, <laughs> if they want to stop th this kind. Yeah. You know, it won't stop because what, what else should they do? Yeah, it's not going to stop. Uh, so if you want to um, edge them to, if 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 you like, uh, tone down on the um, activism, activism, mm -hmm. uh, maybe you need to communicate to them ahead of time, not two days to time. I mean, somebody said they traveled from a shy man. Exactly. I don't know whether that is true, but uh, granted that people will travel from from Other different places. places. Yeah. two days communication yeah, is, is too, too short. short. But the, the party has rules, though, and there's a time when electioneering and campaigning, uh, you know, opens. Mm -hmm. So, it's, and it's not time yet. So, then, I mean, does that not go against what is already existing as the general well, well, playing rule? Well, well, I mean, they said they were going for a health walk. So, mm -hmm. so in a sense, right. maybe, but yeah, we're I mean, not, we're not I, 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 I don't get this whole how we regulate mm. the, the, the activities within political parties yeah. because this is Ghana. We have a very fluid culture, yeah. okay? And you're talking about a country where people go to funerals and they can turn a funeral ceremony into a <laughs> campaign. Absolutely. True. You know, so, um, <laughs> not in an overt manner, yeah. but... They, 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 they just need a gathering to express themselves. Mm. And that's nobody can stop. No regulation can stop. Yeah. So long as they can gather, that is going to go mm. on. Mm. It may take a funeral. It may take an outdooring. It may, any form of gathering yeah. can be used for that. But I'm just saying that what the party leadership should ensure is that it's more civil. Okay? Because there are times that intra-party exchanges can actually be a tool against you by your larger opponent mm. after your internal mm. politics. Okay. Hmm. okay, after internal, some of the insults that fly around, your opponent just takes it and comes back with the same insults and, and, and accusations. Mm. So I think that what they should look at is how can we make it more civil? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, Hobson said something, and I was just wondering, because I don't think I personally have seen it happen, but he was referring to the fact that um, the vice president has been campaigning. But I'm not sure if he's using the vice president's, um, uh, you know, the, the, the work he has to do in terms of going around to 
in, you know, inaugurate projects and doing other things as the fact that he's so visible that it appears that he's campaigning. But I don't think he's directly doing any campaigning. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, incumbency I think, I think, has I think, I think that's just politics. Incumbency has its benefits. Don't, don't you know. struggle too much. That's okay. just politics. <laughs> I, 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 it's just, he's, just, he's just playing politics mm. and, and blatant politics, which, which all of them do anyway. Mm. But... I mean, what were you expecting a vice president to do? Right. Yeah. To just go uh, go to the mosque and just hide there? <laughs> yeah. You know, he is the vice mm. president. Mm. And the vice president is the vice president. Yeah. Yeah. And see, the vice president has a very unique space. Um, he, he cannot be removed. Mm. Okay. okay. Not mm -hmm. even by the president. Right. Okay. You get me? Yes. He cannot be removed. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't know that. Like the like a minister, like a minister can, can be removed. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So that's where we are. Uh, so he is the vice president. Okay. And it's a rule that is coterminous with that of the, the president. president. Mm. Okay. So it, there, there, there's no variation. He has to play the role of the vice president. Mm. And it includes initiating and commissioning projects, mm. speaking engaging people, motivating people, leading people, yeah. and, and all these things. You are not suggesting to the vice president to stop that. You mm. can't. You can't, yeah. Okay? It's his job. And <laughs> as for the minister, the minister reports to the president in a way, yeah. okay, or the presidency in a way, mm. and the president can choose to change the minister. Mm. So that's a bit, that, that space is a bit loose okay. as, as, as compared to the vice president. Mm. So the, the vice president performs his duty. Yeah. Um, if the, you see that the, the difficulty, if, if um, uh, viewers will, 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 will remind themselves, will, I, I still go back to the call in Kensen, Aka, mm. and mm. Jerry Rollins mm. issue. Yeah. Okay, where they had fallen oh. out, and Aka was still vice president yeah. yes. and was campaigning for another party. Mm. Okay, yeah. Yeah. and Rollins was campaigning <laughs> for another party. Yeah. yeah, okay. I mean, if it were that easy, Rollins would have just removed him. Yeah, yeah. okay. So you can't, okay. and you can't okay. stop him from being vice president. Yeah. Okay. Just because you wish so. So it's a difficult situation if you, you fall know. out. Yeah. So yeah. generally speaking, mm. I I think they conducted themselves well, mm. um, except maybe we'll come to that. F except the the video that's mm. been making the rounds about the utterances made by Hope Sinadoy. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. And, so, and, and, and I actually comments. wanted you to comment about that. Uh, comment on that. You know. Well, I, I, okay. I don't know if they played no, that no, already, no. but no, we haven't uh, played it. Already. Okay. But I think that's um, maybe for the for the benefit of viewers who have not mm. um, seen that. Okay, yeah, but I mean, it's um, a video where he, he tried to do an analysis. I, I don't know which model he was using, <laughs> mm. but uh, an analysis which, was, which, which fell flat uh, with reason and logic. Yeah. Okay, um, and his conclusion was that Having been vice president um, twice, you know, and uh, vice president Ali Umama also being vice president, okay. it's it suggests or it his conclusion is that the northern people within the party have had they have had their yeah, take. Mm -hmm. So it's the turn of um, Ashanti people or something to that effect, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, and I still don't understand what that means, yeah, exactly. um, you know, because it's, it looks like um, one of those guys who think that um, ethnicity-driven yeah. um, campaign is, is going to win an election. And, and th those things don't mm. work in this country. Mm. Mm. I think he was fact, also doing this Dankwa Buzia Dongo, you know, tradition. So he's saying that Dankwa has it now, so now we have to move to... Abuzia. No, there's no yeah. Dankwa tradition. <laughs> there's nothing like Dankwa tradition. No. There's nothing like Dombo tradition. There's no Abuzia tradition. Mm. It's a coinage 
that represents the philosophy of, the of MPP. MPP. Yeah. So, I mean, in the P thinking of such a person, he's, he's actually saying that we took ethnic groups and brought <laughs> them together and formed a yeah. party. It, it doesn't happen that yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't happen that way. It's just a symbolic feature of togetherness, mm. okay, where we are saying that the Dankwa people who uh, symbolically will represent the eastern mm. side of the Akan, and then the, the Buzia people who... And, and for the fact of it, Buzia is not an Ashanti man. No, he's not. He's not. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And then the... And, and, and this whole thing of wholesale branding of northern people yeah. is so illiterate. Yeah, it's very, very, very so. illiterate. It's so illiterate. Yeah. And very so disrespectful. Every well. northern person is from Tamale. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you need yeah. to go back to school. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And so I think the party leadership, uh, if there's anything like the Baumia side, this kind of utterances, you don't even need to respond to. Mm. Mm. You don't have to. Because giving him attention makes him feel important. Yeah. Just ignore. But the party leadership should be able to call this kind of person to order. Mm. Yeah. Because it's a misguided statement it doesn't bear any substance, and it's also misleading. Yeah, very, and very, very. And funny enough, he called it analysis. Yeah. I, 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 I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand yeah. where the analysis yeah. is coming from. Yeah. This is very baseless postulation, mm. yeah. and it led nowhere, and it actually reveals a certain uh, uh, kind of thinking. Yeah. Yeah. That is anti MPP. Yeah. Very true. It's a thinking that is anti MPP. It's true. So this person must be brought to book. Mm. And it's the duty of the party leadership to, to do, do that. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I, agree with you. I mean, who, who, who talks like this mm. in 2022? Mm -hmm. For somebody, I mean, look at the person you purportedly are trying to promote. Mm. Alan Kwejo Chematin. Yeah. Take the personality of Alan mm. and read the lips of the man talking yeah. and try and compare <laughs> whether <Mismatch>. Alan's personality <laughs> is consistent with what the man yeah. said. Mismatch. Totally. They don't, they don't Absolute matter, so. rubbish. Yeah. Mm. And these things should not be countenanced in any of our political parties. Because, you see, the potential that this thing bodes for this country is something we don't want to know. Yeah. It's something we don't want to know. And thankfully, mm. I do not think that he spoke on behalf mm. of any ethnic group. Mm. Yeah, no. no, no. I don't think he spoke on behalf of it. And so the party leadership should call him to order. Because if this kind continues, everything will find itself in disarray, total yeah. disarray. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Well said. Mm. Well said. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Um, I, I couldn't have put it better. I think that these sentiments are very, very um, clear and very important for us to, um, to hold high because uh, a lot of the times we, 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 we as Ghanaians say we want to aspire to higher ideals and yet somehow there's a certain base part of us that you know is drawn to some of these things and it's like we will be, because of politics we want to follow some of these things but uh, it's not it's yeah, not proper yeah it's yeah, not proper yeah, it's i mean i mean i'm not a politician yeah. but i mean this kind yeah. uh, i don't know who, which politician who means well will encourage this kind yeah. of yeah. 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 yeah yeah anyway well we're going to take a quick break and uh, breakfast daily will continue shortly don't go anywhere <laughs>